This is the prettiest ivory has ever looked. Big ivory, okay? This is the prettiest big ivory has ever looked in a minute, okay? So, shout out to her glam and whoever did her makeup, hair, all that. She looks so dainty and pretty, okay? Ivory did lose weight. The big back is no longer big. It's small. It's medium, okay? She did lose the big back. I think Brie teasing her about the big back got a little bit too hard. So, the back is gone. Okay, so shout out to her for working out that back. Her punching out all them holes, that's extra cardio. I don't have to stop saying no shade. I've talked about this before, but like, please stop abusing this gay terminology if y'all don't know how to use it correctly. No shade is when you're throwing shade, but you say no shade to lighten the blow of the shade. You don't say no shade for just regular uh, comments. I'm about to use the bathroom. No shade. Bitch, that's that's not shady. I'm about to wipe my ass. No shade. I'm about to drink a bottle of water. No shade. That's not shade. Please stop using it if y'all don't know how to use it. And I'm, I blame all the gays on that TV for letting these girls use it and don't even know what the hell it means. I'm about to fuck my nigga. No shade. How is that shade? What's the shade of fucking your nigga? It's really annoying. <laughs> I swear. It is something I noticed that all the not as TV girls do. I blame you, Barbie. Um, y'all know the episode dropped very late. Um, and you guys noticed a lot of blur. Um, I think they needed to blur out things because I I don't know if the hotel found out, but that's what I'm leaning towards. And um, yeah, because why are they now blurring out? extra um things in the hotel that weren't blurred out in the first part i'm just saying it looks fishy it looks very fishy okay fishy and aquatic clown okay now ivory won that fight against mel and it's okay she did but mel didn't back down i hate how ivory acts like she beats mel with the easy w you don't beat her up with an easy w you use all of your power to beat up Mel. All of your energy to beat up Mel. It's not an easy W. Like you beating up Hood Baby. Now that's an easy W. You did that with ease. With Mel, you put a lot of effort into taking a W with her. That's what bothers me, Ivory. She hates giving her opponents credit. And it's like, nah. Even with Cash. You didn't beat up Cash. Sorry. You didn't beat up Cash. You put a lot of effort into fighting Cash because she wasn't on Easy W either. Even with Kai. Kai won of the rounds. She beat up Ivory. Ivory still can't admit that. You can't win every fight. That's what my problem with Ivory. Like, she feels like she could beat up the whole world. You can't beat up the whole world. Somebody's going to beat your, butt, your big butt too. You just got to wait. Like, I even feel like with Tzatziki... Ivory wouldn't win against Tzatziki because Tzatziki does something that a lot of you girls don't do. They don't stick and move. Tzatziki moves. So all them punches Ivory would be throwing, Tzatziki be boop, 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 boop. Ivory wouldn't get no punches in with her. And then Tzatziki would be like, I ain't niggas she be throwing them left, right hooks. Ivory would be down for the count, I'm telling you. They don't stick and move. They just punch and go, somebody get Megan. Let me stop. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it's, with that route, like I said, Ivory won, but it wasn't an easy W. Mel put up a fight. She was still hitting her as she was getting hit, but she was still hitting her. Ferrari having braids under that wig on Black History Month is crazy, okay? <laughs> Rosa is somewhere reaping in the afterlife. Harriet Tubman is somewhere cursing in the afterlife. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wait a minute. No, wait, wait. <laughs> I missed that part. You mean to tell me, Ivory, you giving bitches wedgies now? You going too far. You going too far. You giving bitches wedgies? 
wedges. Hmm. Now I will say when it comes to uh legacy versus uh Ferrari, little tart. Yeah, you know my heart. Yeah, I like the fart, cause I put that, put that, put that down. Ferrari ho. Legacy took a W. Okay, it's just is what it is. Child, they almost got Queen in the middle of the mess. Queen was two two beats away from getting punched on. Okay, and busted out her waist trainers. <laughs> Queen, you better get out the way. Move out the way. When the bitches fight through, you better get out the way. Move out the way. They almost busted Queen up on her waist trainers. Okay, she's still healing from the surge. Now, Ferragamo sneaking Mel. I'm not too mad at her because she was kind of bothering her during the series and just like did the most. Even if she was in a, under the influence of shrooms, she still was doing the most. So can you really be mad at Ferragamo? Not really. Um, I will say, though, it's interesting to see Ferragamo and Scotty uh, best of uh, bosom buddies. They are from the same city, but imagine if in another universe Ferragamo was on Zeus. She'd probably be in house A. This is where I side eye Naj. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me that you're waiting for a pair of shoes patiently because you want to fight? While all the some of these other girls are not even fighting and they probably wear the same size shoe as you. So you're waiting for a pair of shoes. This is why I say I side eye Naj, because it's like, if you wanted to fight her that bad, you would have did it. Let it been Lacey in that room. That bitch would have fought her barefoot. Please miss me with that. I'm sorry. Let's keep it a buck. If you want to fight Mel, you was going to fight Mel. Fuck a pair of shoes. Borrow crystals. Y'all look like y'all wear the same size shoe. Put on Ferrari slippers. Please. I'm sorry. I don't think she wanted to fight Mel. That's just my opinion. I'm going to show y'all ivory. Big ivory. Woman. Hey, I'm coming 10 times harder. <laughs> This is Ivory. I'm coming 10 times harder. I'm coming 10 times harder. Okay. I know what I signed up for. <laughs> it's not such a baddies. It's not baddies in Las Vegas. I'm coming 10 times harder. I'm like, step. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> Nosh, please. Nosh, please. You're getting on my nerves already. Mind you, I haven't watched this uh, reunion in full. Please, Nosh. Who's holding you back? <laughs> this is what I mean. What so many of these girls pick and choose who they can fight and who they don't want to fight. Don't get me wrong. I feel like Cash is scared of Nosh. I'll give Nosh that. Because Cash had like upteen opportunities to fight Nosh. And she turned down every single opportunity. But when it comes to certain girls, to, <sighs> Nosh backs out. When it comes to Mel, I feel like she don't want to fight her because she knows that Mel would give her up for her money. Sorry. <laughs> Ten times harder! Okay? I hate when they yell in the cameras. I'm not even just talking about Naj. I'm talking about the girls in general. Like, we see you, girl. Don't yell into the camera like this! Like, we can't see you. We see you, girl. We see you. We see each other. You don't got to be all up in the camera like that. Them poor cameraman, okay? <laughs> they got to smell all their alcoholic breath up in that camera. My whole thing is that at this point, uh, Ivory want to park so bad, bitch, you need to work for a valet. Um, with her busted lip like that, I wonder how, I wonder if it was due to her knuckles or did she have any rings on or anything like that? I don't think she did because if she did, you know, the girl is would be all up and through Instagram talking about how Ivory had rings on, okay? So they need to rename her Knuckles instead of the actual Knuckles. Trying to catch life flash, life flash before her eyes. Her eyes bulged out of her eye sockets because she thought Big Ivory was going to hit her. <laughs> the bitch was scared during, even during the demonstration. Heart started palpating, bitch. Because she thought a Big Ivory was going to knock her ass out. 
My whole thing is, Ferrari, you got a big forehead full of hair. Why the fuck are you wearing closures and units and wigs? You want to be black that bad? <laughs> Me damn, bitch. She got more hair than the wig. Make it make sense. Braid thick as ever. Y'all need to learn to love yourselves. Why they blurring out her mouth? And two, Sai want to be part of the, the clique so bad. So freaking bad. No shade. It's eight of us. See? Two of them. Why these bitches still running around circles with us? No shade. Where's the shade? Where's the shade? Where's the shade? It's eight of us, two of us, no shade. What's the shade? You see what I mean? It's just in their vernacular for no reason. And also, uh, Ivory, that top is horrendous. I hate it. <laughs> Ivory turned pants into a top. The pants were this. Going up, and she decided, let me flip it over and make a top. I hate it. Besides that, she looks really pretty, but I cannot stand that top. That's the most we've seen Tilo get active verbally, okay? Usually he's in the background somewhere. At least he has enough dignity to show his face, okay? Let me pepper take notes, because, bitch, you be hiding, and we see your little pepper head. Throughout the blur, okay? <laughs> Melanie Titty's still young and reckless. And also, that's nice to see that Legacy has Melanie's back that bad that she wanted to be there to have her back physically. So shout out to that real friendship that came about this show, okay? Now, Melanie's boobs and precious boobs for Young and Reckless season two. Now I got no comment. I wonder how much girl she said that to. Prettiest girls of the season. Oh, I like Legacy. You did pop it off by hitting Ivory. Rightfully so. Ivory deserved to get popped. Ivory even said she would have did the same thing on the last reunion uh, had somebody been calling her boring and stuff. So how are you so mad at Legacy acting as if she's a menace to society for being young and reckless? Like only Ivory could be young and reckless, nobody else? How is that fair? So, she has all rights to feel away. They're about to leave. So, I don't think they, like, excluded her. Because it's like, she came in late. Like, she came in right as they were about to go to the club. From what we've seen on the episode. You know how they be editing it and spinning things around. Who knows? But that's what it looked like from the episode. So, I don't really think that's the case. Melanie just likes to play victim a lot. That's what it is. Okay. Melanie looking at Megan like, bitch, I don't like you. I think she knew internally that she wouldn't have liked her. But then afterwards, it came out that she said that she thought that Melanie was on the same thing Jocelyn was on, which I agree with. You had to be on something more than the shrooms, uh, Miss Girl, okay? Them shrooms did not make you turn into a Power Ranger that night. If Megan says like one more time, I swear to God. Like... You scam. Let me stop. <laughs> Wait. Sam. Why are you channeling your inner cash? You remember that confession where she said, fuck your mama. I don't give a fuck about your mama. When she had the hair over her eye. <laughs> Why are you channeling Violet? Okay. Your mama. <laughs> you should have said, your outfit. I don't give a fuck about your maid outfit. You look like a maid, bitch. <laughs> Violet. <laughs> Child, Sam got that one thing, the hair over the eye said, I had a question for y'all. Are they cool now? Because I feel, I, I feel like after the reunion, they were still shading each other. So they made up and then shedded each other afterwards. Hmm. Take it back. 
Sav, because the outfit was ugly. Okay, you need an honest opinion, because your host Ferrari let you get up, let you get up out, leave that door looking a hot ass mess. Look at KP in the back chilling. I'm chilling. Okay, she's out there chilling like a villain. Okay. Somebody in my comments pointed out something too. KP chilling instead of perfect KP chilling. KP had the same outfit that Barbie had on during the Sasha Jabati's reunion. Now who wore it best? KP, I'm gonna have to give it to Barbie. No shade. Okay, sorry, KP. Who y'all think wore it the best? KP. Okay, I see Barbie. Somebody says, uh, uh, um, Cuzzo. Oh, not Cuzzo have a better fashion sense. Let me shut up. <laughs> Let me tell you what Cuzzo should have did to be iconic. Bitch, you should have showed up at the reunion with the outfit that you wore during the intro. <laughs> but redesign it. Also, RuPaul's Drag Race type of shit. Redesign it and have it be more, more sickening, okay? And come through there with, her, with your bralette on and serve. That would have been iconic. That was a wig hoodie. The wig was attached to the hoodie. What the fuck? That's the first time I ever seen no shit like that. That's cute. No shade. That's cute. A wig hoodie. It only had the part in the beginning. You need to sell that uh, legacy, okay? Call it Legacy's Laces. <laughs> Do you want a lace that's attached to a hoodie? Do you want to squabble a bitch and take it on and off with ease? Then get some of my Legacy Laces, okay? The wig is attached and the lace is attached to the hoodie. I have them in all colors. A black, a red, and gold. Get you some of Legacy's laces so you can squabble a bitch. T remove your hoodie on and be laceless. <laughs> I gave y'all a whole commercial. Link in the bio. <laughs> Shout out to Legacy, though. She really has heart. You got to give it to her. She's not the best fighter, but she's not a punk either. So you got to give that to her. And I think Legacy, I feel like uh, Ivory knows that. That's why she hates her. She's used to the pretty girls bowing down to her. She's used to fighting, you know, the rougher girls. And Legacy's not a rougher girl. She's soft and dainty, but she's not busy. That bothers the hell out of uh, Ivory, because she never seen that before. My dog said, Ferrari, why y'all here fighting everybody? You can't even reach. Your arms is too little. You look stupid. You look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex trying to reach out, trying to fight Tenegay. Look at you. You look dumb. You're not even hitting on nothing. Same sentiments. Ferrari, you are not the face of the network. Don't even. Please don't do that. Lex is the face of the network. Isaiah is more face of the network than you are. The nerve of you, bitch. Leg I mean, uh, Ferrari, please. Legacy, from what it looked like, because those all blurred and diluted. Um, it seemed like somebody dropped water on the camera, for, God, for God's sakes. Please don't blame the editors, though. I will say that. They do a, a, jo a good job for what it, it's worth. They put a lot more work in editing-wise uh, versus Zeus. So I will give that to them, regardless of how I feel about now that's TV and shit. They, you can tell like the editors put a lot more work in than the Zeus. Uh, it's like Zeus kind of just clips the videos together and put it together. So I just feel like it was some legal stuff dealing with this reunion, and that's why they had to blur out a whole lot. So, yeah. It's the dialogue, babe. Same hairdo. It looks good on her, though. But she always going to give us the sa whoop, she ba bop. Sa whoop, she ba bop. She never going to give us a good bob. She never going to give us, you know, a ponytail. She's never going to give us, you know, a bang. It's always going to be the default hairstyle that we see from Deja every time. She's like Penny Proud. Never changes her outfit. But Deja never changes her hairstyle. Let me tell y'all something. Deja's a shady whore. That bitch is happy for I got her ass beat. <laughs> you gotta watch a bitch like Deja. Y'all know Deja don't like Ferrari. Y'all done seen them get into it at that little uh, 
what was it called? The vlog. The Baddies UK vlog. Baddies Take UK vlog. And y'all see how they got into that little argument. I think she was happy Legacy beat the African out of Ferrari, okay? On, on Black History Month. So, yeah, she got a little enjoyment out of that. And now that's TV, they make a little bit of a mistake. Y'all giving the, the producers too much dialogue and too much conversation. One of these days, one of these cast members is going to get casted and slap the dog shit out of y'all. I'm just saying. Just a heads up. Now, this is what confused me. Why the fuck is Ariana there? Last time we see Ariana at a reunion, Big Lex was dragging her up and through that location for her to get tail out, allegedly. So, what is she doing there? I'm confused. Is she a season two potential, as they say? And Ari, she's a baddie. That's a baddie. And she's a grown woman type of baddie. Okay? Now, is she young and reckless? The reckless, yes. The young, I don't know about that. How old is Ari? Mm -hmm. Ari got a nigga last time I checked because I follow her IG, so I don't think she mess around with Mr. Owner anymore. She kind of look like she lying her ass off. No shade. Now, see, that's how you use it properly. Kai, are you really telling the truth or are you just agreeing because far as your face, yeah, they were you and you don't want to say no and then, you know, have Ferrari looking stupid. Because that no was not convincing. It's given no, but bitch, you knew. I didn't know, but you knew. Now, we talking about Ivory, so you can't call her a dick rider. You got to call her a strap rider. Ivory don't play with eggs. She plays with straps. So is she a strap rider? Kai a little bit. Because she's overly friendly with Ivory, which she doesn't have to be. Y'all cool. But, you know, she did hit you. I'll never be cool with somebody that hit me. We'll be okay, maybe. But cool and cool. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay? I'm learning. I'm growing. But it, it takes a lot for me to forget. The whole thing is Legacy stood on business too. She actually stood on business first before anybody did by bop your side your head for you call her boring. You need to get a bitch up props for that. Because nobody else in the house would have did that except for Legacy. And maybe Mel. And I was saying uh, Kai whooped Ivory. She just needs to accept and give her props. She parked you, as you say. Valet, bitch. Not a handicapped. Now, hood baby. Hood baby. Ivory, you put her in handicap. You parked her in handicapped. Ferrari gives me a Facebook type of girl, so I'm not even surprised. Because she's quoting Facebook. I don't like Facebook. It's a bunch of old bitches. Racist fucks and people that have issues on there just being nosy. I cannot stand Facebook. This was the scene that Ivory, uh, the inner NLE was coming out of Ivory, okay? And she, <laughs> she was screaming because she didn't know the transition was going to be that hard. So NLE was coming out of her body. <laughs> <laughs> no longer wanted to wear the bodies. No longer wanted to wear the crop top shirts. <laughs> and Ellie was just oozing out of her skin. <laughs> For our, why are you wearing a beanie? If you don't unbraid your natural hair and put that and wear that bitch out, girl, bye. Literally, I mean, we just out here just uh, chilling. Okay, my man is perfect KP, and I'm chilling like a motherfucking villain. And this Young and Reckless season one, I'm trying to be on season two. And that's just what it do. And you could call me boo, because that's what I do, literally. Bitch, what you got hit? They do shit. Bitch, you're not Young and Reckless. Yeah. And I'm chilling. Ivory could have had a bigger impact if she called her shroom head ass bitch. Mushroom head ass bitch means like her head, her head shaped like a mushroom. Shroom head ass bitch means that that bitch be on shrooms. There's a difference. 
Without Ivory, this season wouldn't have been successful. Okay, we got to give it to her. She's the main cause of this success of the show. Shout out to her. If they didn't put her on this season, who knows what it would have been. Okay. On the negative side, Ivory. Big Ivory. I'm going to need you to do me this favor. Don't you ever cut them pair of jeans like that ever, bitch. And think you just wear them out in public. Cowboys don't even do that, bitch. You know the cowboys that cut the ass ass cheeks out and have them ass cheeks out? The assless chaps? They don't even do that. So what the hell were you thinking cutting a thong into them jeans? That was reckless. Anna Cash also looked like she got electrocuted, uh, like shocked. I don't feel like she'll be a good fit for season two. Just because her mission in this reunion was to confront Ferrari and it fell flat. It was very awkward watching it. Sorry, y'all, for that last live on Twitch. I was drunk and sleepy as hell. But that shit was awkward. She was trying to confront her. And then Ferrari was like, man, I got everybody on my hit list. I got to fight Legacy. I got to fight Melanie. I may have to fight Ivory. And I might have to fight Naj for my spot. You're not even on my hit list. You're not even nothing that would be worried about, boo. I don't care, because I put that pussy down. Yeah. Is that Melanie? Like, she could care less about what China Cash was saying, so it was kind of awkward. Now, Ferragamo, I like you, but last week you was just saying on the first part that you think that she messy, Ferrari messy, et cetera, et cetera. Naj need to be the host. What just made you have a change of mind? Sav, if you don't get you some shades and stop... She, she. Right. Yeah, you know my heart. Yeah, I like the fart. Cause I put that, put that, put that pussy down. Rario. Okay. Um, uh, this show to me is the closest to BGC that I've seen. Just due to the personalities that they cast it. Like, KP, to me, is somebody that they would put on Bad Girls Club. I was talking to somebody about this earlier. That's somebody that would cast on Bad Girls Club. It's KP. Her accent, the way she talked, like, just every, her mannerisms. Yeah! Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they would put her on BGC. So they cast the girls to me that I feel like they would put on a Bad Girls Club and just the way the show went about. So, shout out to them for that, all right? I would uh, react to Mean Girls, but we don't have time because of the after show. So, tomorrow, I'm going to do Mean Girls and Making the Gas, okay? All right, now, somebody check the Discord. I got to see what's going on.